Yellow Walker, Indian Red, Ultramine Blue and White. Now let's begin with our painting. Remember that we are starting with a wet canvas with medium, with clear medium. And we are spreading around uh, these stains of Ultramine Blue mixed with white. I am using uneven proportions, kind of random proportions, to give the sensation of texture already in the sky. And be very careful because we are not creating a solid wall of blue. It has texture and we are leaving those white spots already to create our kind of clouding, okay? So be very careful, but play around. Play around, this is a pretty, pretty funny painting, okay? We're gonna have fun with this painting. So let me prepare my next brush. It's going to be a flat brush. You can use any kind of brush, okay? This is a mix of white, a lot of white with a touch of ochre yellow. We're going to paint this middle part kind of like this. We're going to retouch it a little bit later, but this is going to be a pretty loose painting, pretty loose strokes, okay? Very powerful strokes, but pretty, pretty loose, so we don't have to worry this time about perfect lines nor shades, okay? This is mostly about controlling our brush and the intensity of our colors around. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm just spreading a little bit of the Indian red here and there. Remember the keys to, to not build a solid wall of color. We are leaving those spaces on purpose and I'm playing with the amount of paint on my brush. I'm using it to create texture, kind of a dry brush texture. Here and there. This is a mix of my ultramarine blue with the yellow, okay? And a touch of red to create this pretty, pretty dark, uh, pretty dark green. And again, the same as we did with the sky, you have to play with the amount of paint in your mixes to create different uh, tones. Tones and colors of greens, okay? Pretty nice. Like the colors are going to be kind of you know the sensation <clears throat> that they are starting to lose themselves in the background in the distance. Super easy, have fun. You just don't build solid walls of colors, at least not this time. Okay, it's going to be easier that way. Pretty cool. It's a little bit more of that uh, remix that we have on these mountains, these kind of rock shapes, it's the same just with a little bit more of a ultramarine, this is the purple we get by mixing the ultramarine with the indian yellow okay and I'm just printing around on the sky to create these stripes of clouds that are kind of um, tear apart in the middle allowing us to see the clear sky in the back, okay? It's kind of a pretty stormy cloud. Pretty, pretty stormy cloud. Which is giving us an opening. It's going to look pretty, pretty cool. It's kind of an explosion of clouds happening up there. Super, super easy. Super easy. Super loose strokes. As you're leaving the paint on the canvas, you can start to go to the middle part, which is clear and apply some of that uh, color on the middle part. Just be very careful, we want this part super clear. This opening in the sky is very important. Okay? This is the orange we get with the Indian yellow and the yellow walker. We are applying it here to try to build already the sensation of layers, the indication of layers of foliage happening there. These are kind of mountains, maybe hills, something like that, okay? Closing in the water, maybe this is the sea, maybe it's a lake, I really don't know. But it's going to look pretty cool, you don't worry about that. Easy. You're gonna have to adjust your brightness and your rest uh, and your shadows little by little okay 
keep building them back and forth back and forth keep them in check keep them in check this is uh, the same purple that we used in the clouds I'm just darkening these pads with the sensation that this is a uh, kind of the reflection of those clouds in the sky super easy super easy remember this is supposed to show the brush strokes super super hard okay so you don't worry about fine detail in this painting a little bit of, uh, of green kind of giving the sensation that that yellow is uh, bouncing the light that yellow is bouncing on the water and mixing itself with the reflections of the sky of the same water let's keep building layers of foliage maybe reflections maybe some mud that's it that's it play around with the color sometimes with the purple sometimes with the green there's different ways to build our shadowing of course we can always mix with the colors that we all have already laid there super cool this is a white with a little bit of blue and i'm gonna try to build the wavy shapes of the water okay little by little one by one i'm literally building one by one okay remember that we don't have we don't want a solid wall of color so it's very important you, you, that you think about this individually so you don't start to uh, build with uh, with big strokes that are going to build a solid wall of color so be very careful i'm going to add a little bit of white on this part to brighten it the sensation that the zone is behind that uh, that hill that earth or whatever that is and i'm going to try to paint the same on the lower part but reflected inverted okay of course it doesn't have to be perfect because it's reflected on the water that is moving <clears throat> that's it little touches here and there pulling a little bit of the lighter color into the shadows and vice versa okay and this is kind of the reflection of the, the dark clouds on the sky but we are not looking at them entirely because the water is moving so it's bouncing the light all the way all the way around okay all over the place that's it let's darken this part a little bit too to send our eyes kind of to the middle of the canvas to the central part to the central portion super cool the sensation of branches of twigs grass some stuff like that happening there but we don't want to find it in this case okay keep building little by little little by little change your colors Clean your brushes, change your brushes. This is just white with a touch of yellow and I'm lightening only these parts that, I'm fa that are facing towards the light source. Super cool, super easy. This explosion of clouds and shapes. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We are almost done, people. I'm going to leave you here with the painting, with the photo. I hope you like it and I hope you realize that this is upside down. So you can see that this can work either way. <laughs> that was kind of a surprise for the people that made it all the way to this part of the video. Let's give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next time.